the How to Operate Delta Force video, I briefly explained using maps to evaluate your Delta Force performance. And we've had some questions since then and I'd like to clarify a few things. I spent the majority of that section of the video talking about the downforce map, but today I'd like to focus on the applied force map. The applied force map can best be described as a way to evaluate the field and planter conditions, not to evaluate delta force performance. Anytime field conditions change, whether that be soil type, soil moisture, different tillage, over tile to between tile, and so on, you might see the amount of pressure that delta force is applying change to take into consideration that difference so that it can maintain consistent pressure on the gauge wheels. If you have a planter with on-row hoppers, you can expect the applied force map to change as you go from full hoppers to empty ones. It is completely okay for the applied force map to not be consistent as long as your downforce map is fairly consistent. This just shows you that delta force is operating. The takeaway here is that if you see inconsistencies or patterns of large pressure swings on the applied force map, first check if your downforce map looks fairly consistent, and if so, don't ask if delta force is working properly, but rather ask what field conditions are causing delta force to make those pattern changes to maintain consistency. If you have any questions about anything in this video, please contact your Precision Planting Premier Dealer or our support team.